Okay, so we have what is the mass of air that contains the amount of oxygen from part one in kilograms? So the grams is 2.23 times 10 to the third grams of oxygen for one day. So they want the mass of air that contains this oxygen. So what we actually did in the previous one, in part one, is we actually did air, right, total air, times 0.2, would give us oxygen. So they want the reverse. They want what is the mass of air. So if all we had was this, then we just have this equation, right? And we divide by 0 0.2. 0 0.2s would cancel. Divide by here, 0.2. And so oxygen, oxygen divided by 0.2 would give us the mass of air. So then what happens? So we have oxygen divided by 0.2. So I'm going to take this oxygen number and divide it by 0.2 to get the mass of air. So I, I get 1.1 times 10 to the fourth grams of air. So uh, it looks like we're almost done, right? So let me go back to the question. And it says, what is the mass of air that contains the um, amount of oxygen from part one? So, so far we do have that. We got the mass of air. But the most critical thing is kilograms, right? We have it in grams. So that's a very easy mistake. You get through all the hard part of the question, and then you get the wrong units. So always go back to the question and see what are the units. So we see that uh, they want it in kilograms. So we do dimensional analysis. The, uh, since these two are diagonal and they have the same units, the units cancel. Um, this is the conversion, 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. And so, therefore, we'll be left with kilograms. So your final answer is 11.15 kilograms. So, yeah, just make sure to remember those units. Um, always go back to the original question. Make sure you answered their question because this is kilograms of air, not oxygen. Um, it's air, and it's in the right units. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.